give us your name and you have two minutes. My name is Lynn Hager. I've lived in the Portland metro area for over 25 years, and I am here today to speak as a cost burden renter and an organizer for Portland Tenants United. Over the last three years <coughs> in my southwest Portland neighborhood, I have seen the average rent increase from $900 to $1,700. That's a 90% increase for an apartment. Let that sit for a minute. Most of the units on Beaverton Hillsdale are not even upgraded. These once relatively afforded homes, accessible to lower income families, seniors living on fixed incomes, and other vulnerable community members are now only attainable for those making over $60,000 a year. This has driven out many of our long-term neighbors and has caused a palpable divide in our community between the haves and the have-nots. For example, this spring, proposed school boundary changes in my neighborhood would have moved the children, including my child, living in apartments on Beaverton Hillsdale Highway and only those living in apartments, from their schools within walking distance to school more than three miles away. And children in the affordable housing Stevens Creek Crossing can't go to Reiki Elementary, a school they can see from their sidewalk, and are instead bused to Hayhurst, two miles away. How much is that costing the city? These classist policies echo the overwhelming message that city council has continued to send to the public. If you have money, city council represents you. Everyone else can just move. This has been evident with the complete lack of action toward the slowly, the slow, sorry, toward slowing the rapid increase in rent throughout the metro area, the ballooning houseless population who continues to be swept from somewhere to nowhere, and the continued traumatic displacement of families by landlords who care more about their profits than people. Portland is in desperate need of tenants' rights, a rent freeze now, and an immediate end to no-cause evictions. We refuse to believe that you have done all you can do. You continue to throw money at building shelters without pa pausing to recognize that displacement from housing is a huge part of what is creating that need, Mr. Novick. Low vacancy rates can't be solved with more development if none of the housing is affordable. The vacant unit units are in the high rises charging $3,500 for micro studios. They aren't in places that your constituents can afford. Tenants are 49% of the city, projected to be 60% by 2020. When low income, vulnerable populations get displaced, including the disabled, elderly, mentally ill, and those suffering from addictions, and there is a shortage of housing, including state funded services, there is literally nowhere to go but the bushes. Okay, that you. is why we are seeing, I'm not finished, I'm almost done. This is why we are seeing tents all over the metro area, including Beaverton, Tigard, Clackamas. Where the hell are we supposed to go? Extending the housing state of emergency in the city of Portland is a no brainer. One year, what a joke. It should easily be three years. But we need it to be more than lip service. And we need the city and state leaders that have power to do something about it to actually take real action. I urge you, I demand that you extend the declaration as well as implement a rent freeze now, a moratorium on no cause evictions. As leaders of our city, it's your job to protect your most okay, vulnerable Hager, citizens. I've and it is you time you minute. finally do the job you were elected to do. Okay, thank you. Thank you.